All right, guys, Automotive Inquiries here. Wanted to do a video today because I've been talking so much about the 24 HD interior that's going to come. Although they're not looking at a huge bunch of uh, body style changes and everything like that, a little bit of cosmetic tweaks on the grill, uh, the interior that the HD is going to get is the current half ton uh interior and so i wanted to come do a quick walkthrough with it because i think that if you're not enamored with the current silverado gmc interior but you do love everything else about them then you got to get yourself a 24 on order because uh the way they redid this there's a lot less hard plastic in this version again this is going to be sle and up LT and up on the pickups. If you get a work truck, it's not gonna be quite like this, but uh, uh, a lot of soft touch stuff here. I like how they left this little pocket here. I, I Ford may be losing theirs. I'm gonna miss that, um, but soft dash everywhere. I love it. Uh, a little bit of hard plastic here, but it's not piano black, so it's not gonna scratch. And I, I don't have an issue with piano black. I think it's sharp looking. And as long as it's made with high quality, it won't scratch all that bad. Um, seats are carryover, so still extremely very firm. So if you like firm certs, uh, seats, then uh, GM and uh, uh, products are gonna be definitely your angle here. I do like the sculpting of the door and the shape of it. Again, you come over here, tons of soft padding and stuff like that which in the past this has been all like hard plastic with a little bit of cushion here. This is this is really nice, feeling nice on the top of the door and wider than it used to be. So if you like putting your elbow up on the door, that's good. Uh, carryover switches from last year, they just moved them from here down to here uh, on the HD. And then of course, the steering wheels are carryover, multi-sticks are carryover, but you can see right there, my favorite thing, it will be there in 24, auto high beams. Uh, you're not gonna get a, a gear indicator range, so you're gonna still put it low and have to toggle through the selector like normal but this screen you can get a lot of data up here um, on here it's a beautiful screen it doesn't seem to be phasing out a ton on you know when you're driving um, with a sun glare so it's going to have a lot of information how you can set up and again this is an sle so it's not a basic truck but it's it's very nice for con for what's considered a basic truck um no lit visor on the SLE, so probably an LT1, you won't get that. Auto dimming, rear view mirror, not standard on this model. Um, but all in all, the seats are just as firm as they were. Same console. They move the uh, stop start switch from over here to here on the on the HDs. You probably remember that from my other video. And please do go back and, and, and put these against each other um, because that 23 HD I drove is nothing like this on the inside other than the seats themselves. But I mean, the the, the functionality of everything is just really nice on here. Um, everything just has a really good feel, even though some of these switches are the same as they were last year. The, the big showstopper is the dash layout. It's easier to see out over the hood now. This beautiful screen here, which I like how when they're, when they're elongated like this, because it just makes it really nice. Um, the st stock stereo is actually really good. It looks like it's going to split it kind of like the, um, the, when the Telluride came out, it had half the navigation over here and, and then the music over here. Love that. Very, very pretty screen. Very, t very nice and quick functioning screen. And I, I got to say that honestly, if you're, if you don't need an HD right this second, then you, you owe it to yourself to order a 24 and go after this range. Cause even though the engines aren't going to change, the, um, transmission will be bumped on the gas HD to a 10 speed Allison. Uh, just this interior makes it for, you could even leave the six speed in there for all I care. That was a fine transmission. Um, and get this interior because it's just so much nicer. The, uh, heated seats are hotter than the toaster oven on at breakfast. They get warmed up pretty quick and the heated steering wheel is more than adequate for, you know, what it is. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is a great interior and I wanted to get out and do it because I know a lot of people have been like, well, what are the big changes coming in 24? Really it's aesthetics on the outside, but the interior is where it's all going to happen. And, and it's about time. I think a lot of people are ready for that. I think it was, uh, you know, like I said, getting to the point where it's long in the tooth. Oh, looks like we have an upper, uh, little glove box again. That's nice. So yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely take a look at this, uh, truck and everything like that. We'll take it on a quick spin here. And so I just went to the dealership because, you know, I wanted to get this and put it in perspective for everybody and get it out there because some people might just be like, well, I'll just get a, a carryover, um, you know, 
23 and, and that's fine. If, you, if you're cool with the old interior, then I would go with that because if you like analog gauges, you're not going to get that in a trim level up from basically the work truck. Um, who knows what that's going to look like. It's probably going to look like last year's work truck. Uh, I know, you know a lot of people like to do that and carry that over. So um, this is a wonderful interior. Still a little firm on the seats for me, but I might be able to get used to it. Just a really, really uh, sharp and good feeling quality interior. So I think GM definitely stepped it up. Is it the quality of Ram? I don't think so when it comes to the upper trim things because I just think that you know Ram is just a real plush interior. And I think Ram has the, the softest seats, um, but compared to the Ford, like say a Lariat, um, or even say an XLT, I think this now equally rivals my XLT on the interior quality and definitely like the size and quality of the screens is really nice. And then again, nothing short of cameras are phenomenal again in this, in this truck and, and the backup camera takes up that whole screen. So, you know, this, this is a really neat truck. Now this is a two seven turbo. I'm not overly a big fan of that. Sounds like a vacuum cleaner. Um, my two seven EcoBoost really didn't sound like anything until the turbos were spooling, but this motor is definitely powerful and uh, uh, fuel economy wise, I don't, I reset it at the start of this little jaunt. Eh, 12 miles a gallon, <laughs> typical GM stuff, not super good gas mileage, but um, yeah, at the end of the day, uh, you got to uh, check out this interior and then check it out against the old one and see if that is going to work for you in regards to, you know, replacing your new HD truck or entering the HD truck market. I think that that'll be, uh, you know, pretty cool. So thanks for watching, subscribe and hit the bell.